Hello everyone! In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate the difference between strengthen, solidify and the bound functions. The three functions have indeed similar effects, however, they should be used for different purposes. And understanding them will give you more ease when creating your 3D. So let's start by seeing the strengthen function. In this example, you can see that the body of the sweatshirt looks twisted and the fabric's not falling as it should. Whenever you have a similar situation, you should use the strengthen function. Click with the right button of your mouse on the pattern, either on the 2D or 3D window, and then select strengthen. The pattern piece will become orange, indicating that strengthen function is on. Next, turn on simulation. When simulation is on, the selected piece will become stiffer, helping you to bring back the garment to its right place and right fall. After achieving the desired result, you can unstrengthen the garment by repeating the same steps or pressing the shortcuts Ctrl H on your PC. For a more natural look, simulate again, so the fabric will go back to its natural drape. Note that this function is made to be used temporarily. If your need is to keep the garment stiff at all times, then you might prefer using solidify or bond, as we are going to see next. Let's have a look at solidify. Differently from strengthen, the solidify function does not promote any visual alteration to the piece. It actually works by holding the desired fall or drape of the garment in its place. For example, on this project, I would like to keep the sweatshirt with rolled up sleeves. Therefore, after achieving the desired drape, I will solidify the sleeve so it will not lose its shape when simulation is on. Solidify enables you to keep the drape and still be able to move it. Let's see what happens if I to strengthen instead of solidify. When I strengthen the sleeve, the fabric gets stiffer, promoting alterations to the drape. Therefore, the recommended function to keep a drape is solidify. Note that there are two ways of applying solidify. Either by clicking with the right button to the pattern piece and finding it on the pop-up window, or by turning it on on Property Editor. Lastly, let's see the bound function. The bound function promotes the same effect as the interfacing, so you should apply it for the same reasons that you would apply on a physical product, such as giving more structure to small pieces like collars, lapels, cuffs, etc. To apply this function, select the piece and find bound in Property Editor. Turn it on by ticking the small box and choose the one that best suits your garment in preset. A second way to apply bond, in case you don't want to apply it over the whole pattern piece, is by creating an internal shape. Select the internal line polygon tool and draw the shape where you'd like to apply it. Note that you must always start from the inside of the pattern and you must close the shape. Then, select the created shape and turn on Bond in Property Editor. Now, you should have understood the difference between Bond, Solidify and the Strengthen function. Thank you for watching!